to those who study the figures of history of whom have worked tastly to help shape our world, then you will know there is no man out there who fits this description better than Nikola Tesla. Essentially forming the basis of the modern world, Nikola Tesla single-handedly helped to plunge us into the new millennium, and it appears that history is almost completely forgotten about him. Responsible for more than 300 patterns, some still being discovered even to this day in old offices. Tesla was born in a small Serbian village. He had big dreams regarding electricity, and his vision of a better and quite literally a brighter future for humanity. In 1884, Tesla immigrated to the United States, and began his work at an overcrowded shop. He struggled to maintain the task of building a large electric utility in Manhattan's Lower East Side. It was this work experience that helped to elevate Tesla into his future, as he became obsessed with his own work experiments and theories. Tesla began believing in an old alchemical known as ether. He would talk about it for length and believe that he could tap into it, and use his abilities to create a future in which magical devices could exist, and change the landscape and powers of humanity overall. This led to a popular quote that many people reference today. When wireless is perfectly applied, the whole earth will be converted into a huge brain, which in fact it is, all things being particles of a real and rhythmic whole. We shall be able to communicate with one another instantly, irrespective of distance. Not only this, but we shall see and hear one another as perfectly as though we are face to face, despite distances of thousands of miles, and the instruments through will be able to do this will fit into a vest pocket. When Nikola Tesla passed away, he left behind incredible writings about inventions. One of these was a camera that could be used to photograph thoughts. Tesla said the following about the idea. In 1893, I became convinced that a definite image formed in thought must by reflex action produce a corresponding image on the retina, which might be read by a suitable apparatus. This brought me to my system of television which I announced at the time. My idea was to employ an artificial retina receiving the object of the image seen, an optic nerve and another retina at the place of reproduction, both being fashioned somewhat like a checkerboard, with the optic nerve being part of the earth. Whether this idea would work is up for debate, but there's no denying that Tesla thought outside of the box. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.